We recently made a video about making and running your own country. We'll link that video down in the description. In that video, we said that we would that to be able to participate in the international community and benefit from international law, you had to join the United Nations. In this video, we'll talk about the history of the United Nations, how to join the United Nations as a nation, and what are the benefits of joining the United Nations as a nation. Hello, and welcome to an episode of Not in a Book. The United Nations was born in the aftermath of World War II. The United Nations came into being on the 24th of October, 1945. Its predecessor, the League of Nations, was provided, was proved insufficient enough to carry out its duties, mostly due to the fact that the United States had not joined. Therefore, the five main allies, China, France, the UK, the US, and Russia, all met together and decided to make the United Nations, along with other nations such as Argentina, Poland, Yugoslavia, Belgium, and Iran. In total, there were 51 founding members. According to the UN website, founding members of the United Nations are the countries that were invited to participate in the 1945 San Francisco Conference at which the UN Charter and Statute of the ICJ was adopted. The UN has certainly been more successful than the League of Nations that preceded it. That can be said for certain. Today, there are 193 member states in the United Nations. That's basically the history of the United Nations in a nutshell. Now moving on to the next part of the video, how to actually join the United Nations as a nation. According to the UN themselves, there are four steps to join the international organization. First, the state must send a letter to the Secretary General saying that they accept the obligations under the Charter. If the Secretary General gives the green light to the application, it's sent to the Security Council. Nine of the 15 members of the Security Council must approve that nation's application. And also, none of the permanent Security Council members, China, France, the UK, the US, and Russia, veto the application. If it passes the Security Council, it goes to the General Assembly. According to the UN, if the Security Council does not recommend the applicant, applicant state for membership or postpones the consideration of the application, the General Assembly may, after full consideration of the special report of the Security Council, send the application back to the Council, together with the full record of the discussion in the Assembly, for current, further con recommendation or report. In the General Assembly, at least two-thirds majority in the General Assembly must approve the state's acceptance into the ranks of the UN. So approximately 129 nations have to say yes to the application. Once this has happened, the state's membership starts once the resolution to accept the state has come into effect. A simple four steps it may seem, but in reality, it takes a long time. While some get fast approval, it may take years to join the UN. For example, it took some countries four years to join the United Nations as a member. Some countries get in quite fast though. For example, Montenegro and South Sudan got into the UN in a couple of months. Moving on to our next and last topic is the benefits of joining the United Nations. To name a few, peace and security, economic development, international monetary fund bailouts, ability to use the help from the International Court of Justice, health, international law, and more. Not only that, but getting into the UN stabilizes your place in the world's nation list, most of the time. Other than these, there are five main reasons. To participate in international diplomacy, to ensure security, get access to UN agencies, have a greater effect on world affairs, and receive assistance from the UN. Participating in international diplomacy is important for all nations. Since the United Nations is the biggest organization where international diplomacy happens, a country would want to be there so they could give their say in the matter. Otherwise, rulings might take place that would not be beneficial for them, without them having any say in it. The next reason is to ensure security. Members of the United Nations can be backed by the Security Council's armies, so they would have an extra layer of protection and defense just in case someone tried to invade them. 
While this is sometimes does not happen, such as in the case of Ukraine, Ukraine was not defended because Russia is a permanent Security Council member and could veto any resolution to protect Ukraine. The next reason why a nation would want to join the UN is to get access to UN agencies. There are multiple UN agencies and bodies that a nation would want to get access to. For example, the International Monetary Fund or the International Court of Justice. Getting access to these would prove beneficial for the country. And if they ever got into any trouble economically, they could ask the IMF for help. Or if they got into trouble politically, they could ask the ICJ for help. The fourth reason a country would want to join the United Nations is to have a greater effect on world affairs. Getting into the UN would allow a nation to give their opinion and vote in the General Assembly. And if they are voted in, they could even vote on more important decisions in the Security Council. A nation would have more significance in world affairs as soon as they join the United Nations. The last reason why a nation would want to join the United Nations was to get help from the UN. Going back to our previous example with the ICJ and the IMF, the country would not have gotten help from both of them unless they were in the UN. A nation would want to get help from the UN in case their head dipped underwater for a bit too long and nobody else was there to pull them up. As you can see, there are many reasons why a country should join the UN. And in theory, it's relatively simple to join the United Nations. The United Nations is the largest international organization that promotes peace and security in the world, with 190 countries in it and, partic in it and participating to help the world as a whole. Please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the bell notification. With that, I'll see you next time.